So this month I wanted to focus in on your physical and mental health. Um, I know there's a lot out there about you know mental health and so forth, but I really feel like the two of those go together and need to go together, right? How we mentally feel, I think there's a lot of really cool things that people can now see how the brain or is affected when we have certain emotions or certain things like that and our cortisol levels and all this stuff there. I think it's pretty fascinating that we now can understand that correlation and the connection between the two. Um, so I think it's really important that we not only focus in on how we mentally feel, and I think as artists we take on so much, we're just like, if you're watching this, you probably, you know, we can get vulnerable and emotional. And that's like the beautiful thing about being a creator. We're able to encompass those emotions and then put it out there for the world to feel. And hopefully, I always say for myself, it's like, be able to take that emotion in, feel it, put it down, get it out there so that other people can experience that. So they can also form, find some form of relief right? That can be their outlet for relief. But it's a big responsibility to open yourself up to that um, on, a, on a pretty consistent basis. So to go back to it, I think that it's really important that we're not only mentally taking care of ourselves, but physically. Because how, you know, if you're new to the page, about a year and a half ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. And that was a big wake up call for me. It was like, oh my gosh, like, wow, me? Huh? But when I look back, I was handling and juggling so many things that not only was there some stressors happening, but physically, like because of having such ambitious goals, which many artists have, um, I wasn't taking care of myself fully physically. And that obviously came, you know, came to a crashing point where I had to really confront it. So I want to go over some tips and some strategies that have been really helpful for me um, and have been... Um, helpful as I've gone along this journey of recovery and what I found through that physically and mentally, um, some things that we can be able to do to keep ourselves because at the end of the day, that's what's important, right? We want to hit these goals, we want to reach them, but if we are not in a good spot, those goals are just going to become um, a side plate. Right, And if we really want to achieve them, we need to find a good balance where we aren't burning ourselves out to the point on a continual basis that you get faced with some things that are not going to so easily go away. So, hopefully you learned some things this month. Drop some comments if there are things that you're running up against um, that you need some help figuring out. And maybe as a group we can help you do that. All right. So let's do this.